Gail, first of all, welcome to Brentford. Thank you, thank you. Uh, how does it feel to be a Brentford player? It feels very good to yeah, finally have signed and yeah, be ready to, to play and, and see the guys in the, in the locker room. Um, I'm so excited to get started. Of course, you'll be meeting them tomorrow when, yeah. when everyone's back in at training. Normally when you join a, a new club, there's a lot of new faces and a lot of <laughs> yeah. people you've got to meet. But obviously with our Danish connections, you know most of the squad already, right? And most of the squad, <laughs> no. But yeah, I know some guys. I've known them for a long time. So of course, it's, yeah, it's nice when you go into a new locker room that you yeah, see some familiar faces and can talk to somebody. Nice. Yeah, and I was looking. I didn't realise how deep some of your connections go with these players. And mm. you made your debut for New Zealand alongside Emiliano was playing, of course, yeah. was here, and Matthias Jensen was playing that day as well. Yeah, yeah, two of the guys, bigger, some of my, some of my idols. Uh, I've watched a lot since I was young in Norseland, uh, watched them play, and I took a lot of yeah, stuff from them, watching them play, and yeah, first to uh, get my debut uh, with them was cool. Matthias, I looked at Matthias at you, was unbelievable, wasn't he? He won like every award going. So, yeah. <laughs> what was that like for you, watching a player like that come through the youth system there, and doing that on that on that stage? It was very nice for me uh, to watch him, and I learned a lot from him, and yeah, a lot from him t training wise. Uh, yeah, he he works very hard, and yeah, the time he spent shooting after training taught me a lot on how to improve like that. Uh, so, yeah. he he was very important for me to learn from. And I'm surprised it's taken us this long without mentioning that incredible <laughs> free kick that you scored against England Thank at you. Wembley. But straight away it reminded me of another former Brentford player's technique in mm -hmm. Emiliano, the, the way that kind of almost knuckleball and the opening of the foot. Yeah. Um, is that something that you picked up from Emiliano from playing with him? We had a training about free kicks. Uh, I think it's on YouTube actually, so maybe you can go watch. But uh, where he taught me, uh, see me as a, a young kid learning from, from him. So yeah, he, he taught me a lot back then also. That's amazing. And, and on that moment at, at Wembley, obviously for myself, watching it was a tough moment, but <laughs> for you, where, where does that rank it in, in your career and, and that tournament as a whole? <laughs> Probably first, nice, very nice tournament, considering everything that happened and the bounce back we did. Uh, it was just crazy and yeah, see how the Danish fans reacted and yeah, all the, the atmosphere and all going around it was cool. And obviously playing in that tournament alongside Christian Norgaard and your head coach, Casper Hulman, you're going to pick mm -hmm. me up on how I pronounce that, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> yeah. But he gave you your debut at Norseland as well. So he's someone that knows you so well and he knows your game. And obviously he's, mm -hmm. I imagine he's been very big in your development as well. Yeah, for sure. He's the coach who taught me probably the most. Uh, I have him on the national team and, and also back in Norseland for some years. So <laughs> yeah, he's been a big part of my career and always been my coach, whether it was Norseland or a national team. So. And He's obviously he's got a close relationship with, with Thomas Frank here. Mm -hmm. So how big was that for you joining Brentford, knowing that your new head coach will probably know your game so well because a close friend of his yeah. knows you better than anyone? <laughs> yeah, it was not so much the connection, but uh, after talking with Thomas about how he likes to play and how I like to play, it's, uh, yeah, I think it was a it's perfect match and it was nice being able to talk to him about football. So, Amazing. yeah. And another connection I didn't really think of that left field was playing against Aaron Hickey in, in Italy, of course, when yeah. he was at Bologna. Um, when I spoke to Christian Norgaard and Aaron about their time in Syria, they mm -hmm. said, brilliant for defenders. It's almost a defender's playground. Yeah. Christian said very man-to-man -man yeah. across the pitch. So as an attacking player, how was that for you? Because that must be hard out there. Yeah, it is hard. It's a very disciplined game. Uh, not so many open situations as you like to see here more. Uh, the tempo here is, is faster, but it's also more open. So in Italy, it's, it's very disciplined and defenders are very disciplined. They, they kill you if you don't do your <laughs> job down there. So yeah, it's, it's difficult for a striker and, and, yeah. and winger sometimes to break through. Do you think, did you add stuff to your game then, do you think? Or did, did you grow as a player from your time out there because of that? For sure, defensively, I think I've grown a lot. Uh, offensively also, yes, is uh, you have to learn sometimes to do different stuff against different defenders. So. But defensively, yeah, I've learned a lot about discipline and defending, yeah, I would say. You, did you go head to head with that? I guess you were probably on different sides. No, at different sides, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in your time in Italy recently, I've seen that you played predominantly on, on the left, kind of, of, of the front, of front three behind the striker. Mm -hmm. Where do you prefer to play or where, where do you like playing? You, you can play anywhere across that front yeah, line, really, I can you? play midfield and winger, but I just like to yeah, be in the space and in, the, in between spaces. That's where I want to be. So. Hopefully I can find some positions in there. Yeah, and 
I'm sure we've all seen the amazing clips of yourself and your quick feet, which again would have come in handy Thank in you. Italy. <laughs> um, who were your football heroes then growing up and wh where did you get that kind of style from? Uh, Iniesta was my idol growing up, my big idol. I always uh, liked him the most and watched his games and tried to copy a little bit of uh, how he plays. Uh, yeah. That's amazing, that's amazing. Yeah. And now you come to a point where you're over here in England. Did you watch much Premier League growing up? I mean, it's the biggest league in the world, so yeah, I watched the yeah the games, and yeah, it's probably the league I watched the most. So yeah. So had you thought about that moment when you'll be walking onto that pitch, playing in the Premier League in the Brentford shirt soon? Have you envisaged that moment? Your first not yet, game? not yet. But I'm very excited to yeah being able to do it. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Brilliant. And and, and on that, hopefully soon. You played for Denmark in June, obviously. And how has preseason gone with you in Italy? How are you feeling? Very good. I feel fit. I did a full preseason now, so I'm I'm ready to go. Excellent. Well, we can't wait to see you put on that Brentford shirt. And, yeah, uh, it's going to be an exciting season ahead, mate. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Thanks you. I was too tired to look to the left, but I was like this, I see Burgundy touch. He's either bro, hey, or I, I, I even lost my motivation, I see him in the back.